Awesome. Yeah. Anthony, do you have any uh, last words that you want to share um, with well, us? Well, I, I do. Um, once again, I want to thank you, Pastor oh, and Elle, wow. for this opportunity, but yeah. also to remember that we're all part of the same body. Yes. Yeah. No matter where we come from, no matter our backgrounds, God is going to use that because yes, all is. things work yes, together. Mm -hmm. And so now that I know that all things work together, that right. every situation that I've encountered, it has prepped me for where I am now. Oh, wow. That is oh, yeah. awesome. Every yeah. situation that you've encountered has oh, prepped yeah. me. Yes. Yeah. And then everything that you will encounter that I will encounter will continue, to, will continue to prep me for because God going. has some great, great, That's great awesome. work work for you to do, and there's some great yeah. things that He has for you to partake in for both of you. Yeah. And so this is not okay. <laughs> this is not yeah. the the ending or the beginning. Y'all y'all are in a in a good place right yeah. now. God is yeah. truly just yeah. making. He's making something great. Yeah. And one day you guys will be the visionary and, and someone else will come be up and serve to be the builder. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So thank y'all so much oh, for just you. for sharing thank this you. part. And I'm telling you, we're going to be right back and we're going to have Pastor Ivory Guyton here to yeah. share a little bit more with us. I am so excited. Y'all stay tuned. This edition of Behind the Ministry is brought to you by... Woman of Difference Greater Works Conference, April 4th through the 6th at the James H. Rainwater Conference Center in Valdosta, Georgia. This conference is brought to you by Abundant Life Ministries in Pavo, Georgia. Dr. Sharon Pittman, host and pastor. The founders of America's three biggest pizza companies are named Tom, Frank, and John. But Marco's Pizza has a founder named Pasquale, who was actually born in Italy. Marcos, authentic Italian pizza. Behind the Ministry, Life in the Now TV's original series, supported by Five Star Paint and Body and Anointed to Beauty Salon. Now, back to Nikki Arbor. Welcome back. Now, I have another guest with me. Do y'all know that um, I have uh, two brothers? Actually, well, no, it's quite a few more. I mean, I would I have a few brothers, <laughs> but here with me um, on this this segment is Pastor Ivory Guy, and he's the pastor of Discovering Life International Ministries here in Tallahassee. Actually, it's on Wood Woodville Highway, Pastor oh. Crawfordville Highway, yes. just to be specific. But Pastor Guyton is my brother. He's my big bro. He's a friend. He's someone that I can call on. And when I called and asked him about coming on the show today, he was like, let's do it. Let's do it. That's the way we talk. So uh, Pastor Guyton, thank you so much for, for joining me today. Thank you so much for having, uh, for allowing your assistant Absolutely. to join me as well. Because I think this show is such a... It's such a blessing to so many people because a lot of people does not understand what having an assistant or have someone walking with you or armor bear, whatever it is that they call them, the adjutant, whatever it is that you call them. It is important to have someone, but, it, but it's more important for you to know uh, the role of that person Absolutely. and for them to know the role uh, of well, their role and for both of us to know that we both are working for a higher <laughs> person, <laughs> that, that there's someone else Absolutely. that's above all of us Absolutely. who has really gave us an assignment and we are just players in this, you know, as a part of the assignment. Absolutely. So I, I just want you to talk a little bit more about that. Well, first, thank you. Thank oh, you, you're thank welcome. you, Pastor. Just so glad yes. to be here. Yes. Uh, this is just an awesome, awesome uh, uh, segment mm -hmm. and, and to, uh, uh, conversation to talk about. Yes. You know, I would like to say the best way I can explain what we're talking mm -hmm. about, uh, there's a saying that a dog is a man best friend. Wow. But if you take a dog uh -huh. and you take your spouse mm. and you take your adjutant uh -huh. and lock them up in a trunk for uh -huh. two hours, uh -huh. one going to come out there mad. <laughs> now who is that? The spouse. <laughs> The dog will come loving you, uh -huh. and the adjutant is going to be praying for you. 
My God. So, so it's just that serious, you know. Mm -hmm. I um, listen at the, uh, the, the 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 segment where uh -huh. you're talking with El Michelle and uh, Minister Anthony. Yes. And it's just like a marriage. Mm -hmm. So it's very important mm -hmm. that you have someone like that uh, praying for you. Yes. You know, David was Saul, mm -hmm. adjutant, yes. armor bearer, yes. and although Saul was trying to kill uh -huh. David, uh -huh. but David prayed for him. Prayed for him. My God. David still loved Saul. Mm. So 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 it's important. It's, right. it's very important. Because it's really mm. um David uh, David understood his position. He understood. Absolutely. He understood it. And you know, even though, you know, Saul was off the chain as some of us <laughs> would say, you Absolutely. know. <laughs> David stood because, you know, it it, it he knew his purpose, he knew his destiny, Absolutely. he knew that he was going to reign one day. Absolutely. You know, even when he felt like, you know, why, why me? You know, I'm not even worthy of it or whatever. Right. But he continued to serve. Because he knew his position. He knew his position. He knew his position. And I think a lot of people get that twisted because a lot of, a lot of pastors or ministers, they want assistance. I didn't ask for an assistant. I, I really know. did not. <laughs> but it was God's plan for me to have one. Absolutely. Why in the world, and I ask God all the time, why in the world would you assign someone to be with me, and they've been here for nine years wow. with me, wow. unless I had a specific assignment, unless I needed one. Absolutely. If I didn't need one, believe me, he was not going to give me one. That's it. And so I look at people that they always, they're griping about, well, I need someone to help me, this, that, another. Believe me, God, the Bible says that he shall supply oh. all mm. of Preach. your needs. Preach, Pastor. All of your needs. All. All. Absolutely. So when he when he know that you need you're in need of something, he supplies, he, he supplies it. That's right. That's so right. I said, I look at this and I look at Elle and I said, God knew that I was gonna need her. Absolutely. I saw I mean, I look back now over all the situations that I, I've gone through and I had to walk through. And it was a blessing to have Elle to be there with me, with the kids. So, you know, Absolutely. not just um, assisting me, but just being that listening ear. Absolutely. To being that prayer partner. Absolutely. To just being a friend. Uh, a a you know, a God a knew a that. God knew exactly, and he knows right. exactly what we need. He does. And, and, and one thing I've come to realize, I've been pastoring for 15 years, mm. That you as an individual don't have all the gifting. Right. So Say we it. have to realize that uh, that that's why it's called the oh body. With the Say body it, of Christ, Pastor. there's different function right. that God will supply you with mm -hmm. to take you to the next level to help to help the vision mm -hmm. come to pass. That's it. So 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 we have to realize that we have we to do. realize we, don't we have, have to everything. release it. We have, we have to, to release some it. stuff and allow them, Absolutely. even though we're visionary, Absolutely. but they're the one the builders. The builders. We have to release what they need so Absolutely. that they can start building. Right. But Absolutely. a lot of people want people under them, under them. That's it. And that's they, you know, they want someone to just serve them. <laughs> and it, that's not, you know, that's for not nothing. It. That's not right. it. You have right. totally missed the point. Well, everything, can I connect? Yes, uh, you got to go. Oh, go you got to go. But, but everything, <laughs> that's right. Everything uh -huh. is all about submitting. That's it. And the word submitting is only mean, really means mm -hmm. that you're retiring. My God. When someone is... submit a resignation, uh -huh. that means they're resigning from, from yes, something. Yes. So we as pastor, we submit to God. Mm. That's how we submit. We retire from our will, mm. our thoughts, our our, our intentions, yes. but we, we, we submit to God. Submit to so God. when we have adjutant and armor bearer, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call mm -hmm. them, they submit their their opinion, yes. their their will. To serve. Yes. So we all serve it to get the we're purpose all, and get to the goal and, 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 and to do what God called us to do. Yes. And you know, Pastor, that's good right there. I'm telling you, you, you now you have totally <laughs> preached, okay? But no, um, when you said about uh, we don't have all of the giftings. We don't. We don't. That we is don't. so key. And what people does not understand is that God put people in our lives Absolutely. to help Absolutely. For us to be helpers one unto it, one to another, you know, we Absolutely. help them, they help us. Amen. But also, I was taught that you staff your weaknesses. You Ooh. staff your weaknesses. Wow. I knew nothing about.
about media. That's not my area. That's not my lane. I, I you know, Elle, she carries journals. She writes. I'm wow. telling you, this girl writes. Wow. She has like almost every prophecy that I've ever received in nine years. I'm wow. telling you, some powerful wow. words. Wow. Like this girl, awesome. she writes. She's a media mogul. That's what I call her. Right. <laughs> but God, you know, but but for some reason, <laughs> I don't even know the fullness of it yet. God knew I was going to need somebody like this on my team. Absolutely. So I'm like, Elle, you have, okay, you were laid off from the TV station. Why not use some of that stuff for me? I'll, whatever you want to do, you mm. can do it for me. I'll be mm. your guinea pig. <laughs> these, these are my words. Wow. I said, I will be your guinea pig. Wow. That's what I said. Amen. And this was Amen. not almost 10 years ago. Wow. And so right then and there, I, I would hear Dr. Dollar talk about staffing your weaknesses. Staff I would hear all of the, yes, all wow. of the, the men of faith talking about staff your weaknesses. You don't have to be jealous of, 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 of her gift. That's it. That's it's it. there to help you to, to accomplish to the, common, the bigger goal, That's the bigger it. picture. That's it. That's and it. so the thing, what, the gifts that I have on the inside of me mm. have helped her out. Wow. I, you know, she tell uh, people all the time about L. Michelle Media okay. because she was uh, talking about how she had gotten laid off. I said, why don't you just start your own business? Mm, start your own business. Right. You can do this. Wow, right. She was. Wow, she had never done radio before. I was like, girl, you need to apply for that radio job. Right, right. Do that. So me being a, a the purpose pusher, right. as she called it. <laughs> that's she what said, we I push call. purpose. Right, right. You know? and that's, that's, that's what a leader does. To that's do. right. As leaders. We're supposed to bring out that's all right. of the potential Absolutely. out of the people who we're leading and the Absolutely. people who we come in contact with. Mm. So that's what I did. Wow. So people, you know, they see they see the picture now right. and they, they don't know where it actually came from. Wow. But that's our main goal. That's our main goal is wow. to, you know, Absolutely. make sure that their gifts and talents are, are out Ab and being Absolutely. used. And then in turn, you know, whatever gifts and talents they have, mm -hmm. they're staffing our weaknesses. That's it. Stuff that's that we can't do. That's it. That's you it. Know? That's so, it. Absolutely. You know, you know, Pastor, I mean, this is good. This I mean, is you're good. preaching. I'm just, I'm just here receiving <laughs> and, and thanking God for this. Yes. Because, you know... You know, uh, when when Jesus died, mm -hmm. and I, I call this the spirit of Joseph, mm -hmm. uh, when Jesus died, when everybody walked away, mm -hmm. Joseph said, give me the body. Give me yes. that dead body. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll nurture it until it come back mm -hmm. again. And mm -hmm. that's the yes. spirit of, uh, you know, you yes. mentioned something earlier, how El walked through, and, mm -hmm. and, and I'm thanking God for uh, Minister Anthony, yes. I, I, God just sent him that way. I mean, wow. he sent him. That that was God ordained sent. I, yes, so I, I, didn't, I, I didn't have enough uh, 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 logic to stab right. my weakness. God said, I need to, I need to send let, this boy some help. Yeah. <laughs> so he said, let, let, let me send right. him some help. Uh -huh. but, 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 but that's what an adjective yes. does. Even yes. while the vision hadn't mm -hmm. already uh, uh, had unfold yes. all, all, uh, you know, right. all together, right. but they stay right there. Mm -hmm. They stay right there mm -hmm. until it come alive. Yes. And yes. so that's what you need. That's what every pastor needs. My Someone God. that will stay there yes. until that vision come, come alive. alive. So, so this is just and awesome. And they can pastor. trust. They can trust. That's right. Because I know you can trust right. Minister Andrew. Oh, yeah. He has yes. your best interest. I'm telling you. And I know El Michelle. Oh, she does. Sometimes I have to say, hold up, El. That's right. Let me handle this. Right. This battle is not yours. Amen. Because sometimes, you know, they want to step in and they want to, like, oh, yeah. Peter, oh, let, me, let me cut the ear. I'm like, that's El, wait a minute now. He, he brought out the military. Okay. The military stock coming out like, hey, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> Exactly, no, no. but they are yes. so important, and I thank they you are. so much for thank joining so me. Much. I thank Absolutely. you for allowing our Minister Anthony to join us because this is awesome, and I think we're going to do several shows about this Let's because this is not enough time it's to, not. you know, we're out of time already, but it's such a, a, a great segment, and yes. I want to continue to talk about awesome. this. So, awesome. Awesome. you know, and I just, you if y'all are in the Tallahassee area on, on Sunday mornings and you're looking for a church, come on through. 5671 Crawfordville Highway, 9 a.m. every Sunday morning. I tell you, there's a word for the Lord just for you. My God, <laughs> and yes, there is a word because this man can preach right.
right here. You, this is my big brother, and I thank my God, thank God thank you for so you much. so much. Thank you for having us. Y'all, thank y'all so much for joining us today on the Life in the Now broadcast. We will see you again next week. God bless. God bless.